to keep my head up to the sky and ask myself why it has to be this way. I like to live my life in peace and have not to worry about all the drama of the day. All right, today we're going to be demonstrating our new Generation 2 barrel shrouds. What we have is um, we'll be demonstrating it on a uh, 1522. Um, today, this one, this one particular one has a uh, thread adapter on it. This was a non-threaded barrel. So, since the new shrouds do come in different lengths, this will give you a video on help um, decide which length to go or if it will fit or not. Um, um, with the Generation Two shrouds, we do we did make it. We had a lot of requests. People wanting to change the caps, do they come apart? So we decided to make them so um, you were able to change out your front caps. Um, you know, for different looks. You know, you put your concave one on there, change it out, put something different on there. However you're feeling for the day, I guess. So, um, so if you're, sh for this, for demonstration purposes, for this particular uh, demonstration on the, on this gun, uh, this is again a 1522 and it does have a thread adapter on there. This was a non-threaded barrel. So when you're picking out your size, like I mentioned, they do come in different sizes. Shorter one, longer one. Um, if you are putting it on a 1522 that has a thread adapter, that was a non-threaded barrel, and you have a thread adapter on there, um, I would suggest going with the um, with the longer shroud. Um, reason being is though it does fit perfectly over um, up into the dust cover. Now you will have to remove the dust cover on the front of the 1522 because the shroud will sh sit uh, directly right in here, about an eighth of an inch. The longer one will. So, get your shroud, put it over, thread it on. That's it. Dips right inside the uh, right inside the uh, dust cover area, like before. And this is the longer one the longer shroud with the um, a non-threaded barrel with a thread adapter on it, on a 1522. Now this is a longer one. If you don't necessarily like that look, um, you don't necessarily have to go with that particular one. If you want a little bit of barrel showing, um, you can choose the shorter, the shorter one if you like. This is a shorter one compared to that. And we'll put this cap on just for demonstration purposes, of course. And that's that. So, and again, bigger hole in the back. Slides over the slides over the uh, adapter. These will also slide over bull barrels as well. Uh, so again, non-threaded barrel, barrel adapter. This is the one with the shorter one. What's going to happen is you'll have a little bit of uh, a little bit of um, barrel showing on this particular one. Now the dust, dust cover is not necessary to remove in this case, and that's what you end up with is is that look. Um, so now, let me get this one off and I'll grab the uh, 1522 that has just uh, a normal threaded barrel. And with that particular one, um, um, we suggest the smaller ones, the shorter ones, because um, it, it does recede in like the longer ones do if you're using a, uh, if you're using a, uh, a, um, an adapter on it. So now, now I have here is a 1522. This 1522 is standard 1522. Again, move remove the dust cover because everything we make, you know, primarily tucks down in, into there. Um, this particular length, if you do choose a shorter one, um, is it, it's going to fit on this on the 1522 with the normal threaded barrel. If you choose to pick the bigger one, obviously it's it's not going to fit. It's way too long. So this one, since pre-made it here, go ahead and install that. Now there is extra options. There are options um, to choose. So if you do not have a bull barrel or need a thread adapter on your on your uh, barrel, make choose you make sure you choose your smaller barrel diameter because what that comes with is a an adapter and it goes in the plug like so and if it's very snug, push it in. What that does is allow it makes it look 
a little bit better, one complete piece. It's not like um, a big opening in the back for people to have the standard barrels. So again, this is the shorter shroud, concave ported cap, chose to pick on it. With the plug installed, this barrel is only about a little over 5 eighths of an inch, not quite the standard AR size, which is 3 quarter, 1522 threaded barrel. I did remove the dust cover, it's not necessary if you're using the shorter one. Um, since you are using the shorter one, I should say, there again, slides right over. Tighten it up, and it's a perfect fit on the 1522, just like so. This is a aftermarket AR. It has a uh, Yankee Hill handguard on there. This is a carbine link. The gas block is uh, about right there. Um, and this uh, hand relic stands um, probably about four and a half inches, five inches past that gas block area. On the particular length on these, uh, this particular gun has a standard, a standard uh, barrel, three quarters of an inch. Um, so. I have the plug installed in the back of this one so, it, so you don't have the big opening like that. Um, this particular gun, it doesn't really matter because everything's going to be sunk inside anyway. This option, it doesn't matter if you choose the longer one or the shorter one um, uh, because everything's going to reseed inside this handguard. These shrouds are 1.49, just under an inch and a half in diameter, so you must make sure that your handguard is at least an inch and a half bigger round. Um, Again, like I mentioned, this one has the plug installed. I've removed the flash hider. You can use your crush washer if you prefer. It's up to you. And again, screws right on fine. And it gives you a uh, tucked in, suppressed look. Looks real nice with that Yankee Hill handguard there. Um, gives it that sh short, you know, the suppressed look. Um, we also do have a Smith & Wesson 15 right here, brand new in the box. This one has no aftermarket parts on it whatsoever. Um, this one has a standard A front side on it, um, standard barrel length. Um, I have loosened this up already, the birdcage. I'll go ahead and remove that now. Uh, this particular one, depending on the look that you want, um, you can have some barrel leftover barrel showing. Uh, this is a carbine length, the standard, what most, people guns are, most people's guns are. Um, and uh, this is uh, the shorter shroud. This shroud will not cover, it'll stop about maybe an inch. This one has the plug installed, so it looks all like it's all one piece there, like that. So screw that on. And like I mentioned, this just, just will leave extra, extra space between between the uh, the front sight and the uh, back of the shroud there, but again with the plug installed, looks all like it's all one piece. Gives you a nice suppressed look if that's the look that you're looking for, or you can you know many shoes trousers choose from. Again, this is the shorter one with the plug installed. I don't have an extra plug here, but um, I will show you the difference of a look with the um, longer one installed. Um, this is a longer tube. It's about a, an inch longer. Um, let's go ahead and just put this crown cap on. This particular one uh, should have the cap in the back like this one, but we'll leave it off just for this demonstration purpose. Here again, it's up to you. You don't have to use this. You can if you want. Take it off. Um, slides right over like standard like all of our shrouds do, tighten it down. And that's uh, what this one leaves, is maybe got maybe a quarter of an inch between this, um, this bottom, bottom of your sight here, the standard AR, um, and the back of the shroud. Again, this one should have the plug installed because this barrel is just a standard barrel. If um, um, this is the plug here, that way it looks all, doesn't look like a, I guess a bell, for lack of a better term. Um, and that's it, and this is just a standard out of the box, M&P 15. This is the longer shroud installed on that, carbine length rifle. Again, you can use the uh, shorter one if you like, 
shows a little bit more barrel. And uh, this one, again, as mentioned, standard carbine length, inch and a half Yankee Hill handguard. Shrouds are 1.48. Dips right down on the inside. Gives it a nice look as well. And that's it. And that's the two.